If you have an Atari ST, there are plenty of modern devices that let you get the most out of this computer. You can use SD card readers that work just like Atari hard drives connecting to the ACSI port, such as the Ultra Satan or ACSI 2 STM. Some of these devices can even be powered directly from the Atari's expansion port with a special power adapter. To take full advantage of these devices, it's highly recommended to have a stable and healthy power supply, as this will help extend the lifespan of your Atari. Additionally, if your machine doesn't have at least one megabyte of RAM, you won't be able to run many of the games adapted to work with these modern accessories. And depending on your ST model, upgrading the memory isn't always easy. Let's take a look at some interesting options to upgrade your Atari. Many games and applications have been adapted to run directly from a hard drive, but most of them require at least one megabyte of RAM to function properly. Depending on the hard disk driver you're using, more or less memory will be available for running programs. That's why upgrading to the full four megabytes of RAM is highly recommended. You can find some of these adapted games on the website of the Debug Group or others made possible thanks to the excellent work of Peter Patari, who has also developed a highly efficient ACSI driver. However, this isn't the only option available. HD driver is one of the most feature-rich drivers, and ICD Pro is one of the oldest and most established. MUTOS also includes a built-in driver in the operating system, which is free and open source, although a bit more basic in functionality. When it comes to upgrading the memory on an Atari STE, the process is remarkably simple. It's done in much the same way you would upgrade the RAM on a modern PC. All you need to do is insert the SIM module into the memory slot on the motherboard. And that's it. You're good to go. With the standard Atari ST, upgrading the memory is a bit more involved, and you'll need to bring out the soldering iron. There are several ways to expand your Atari's memory, depending on the motherboard revision. The later ST models use SMD memory modules, while the earlier ones use through-hole ICs. I'll talk about a couple alternatives for the version with 32 RAM chips. If your machine has 512 kilobytes of RAM, the simplest way to upgrade to at least one megabyte is to populate the remaining memory sockets with additional DRAM chips and install the necessary resistors to enable them. You'll need 16 ICs of 256 kilobits 16 capacitors of 220 nanofarads, and three resistors of 68 ohms. It's also possible to upgrade from 512 kilobytes to 2.5 megabytes by connecting two 1 megabyte SCP memory modules to the Atari's motherboard. Personally, I've never tried this option, but if you have, please leave a comment and share your experience. I'll include a link in the video description in case you're interested in exploring this method. Reaching the full 4 megabyte RAM expansion on an Atari ST will require removing the existing ICs from the motherboard, whether it's 512 kilobytes or 1 megabyte, and wiring sockets to 30 or 72 pin SIMs. However, there are solutions that can significantly simplify the process. Let's take a look at one of the options available from the Exo Store to achieve that 4 megabyte upgrade. This option makes the upgrade much more easy. Once the original memory chips have been removed, simply mark the holes on the motherboard that need to be cleared for the PCB connectors. Wire the memory expansion board to the MMU. and enable the second bank of 16 chips by adding the required resistors. And just like that, your Atari is fully upgraded.
There's no better way to extend the life of your Atari ST than by replacing its power supply with a modern one. I'm going to show you a cheap method using a power supply that's easy to find and fits well on the ST's power supply space. This is the Meanwell RD50A, a dual output power supply that delivers both 5 and 12 volts. The output amps of this power supply is sufficient to power devices such as a floppy drive, an SD card reader, or a USB mouse adapter all at the same time. Additionally, this power supply generates significantly less heat than the original Atari power supply. The mean well unit fits well onto the original metal platform inside the Atari. First, we remove the original PCB, leaving the power switch and the AC socket in place. These will be connected directly to the new power supply. The metal casing of the mean well unit won't be needed. Remove it to allow a better fit onto the original power supply mounting plate. The new power supply fits securely onto the metal mounting plate. The screw holes on the plate are slightly raised, which helps prevent the components on the power supply from making contact with the metal. Additionally, we'll place the plastic spacer of the original PCB underneath and double check that no components are touching the metal surface. You can try different methods to secure the power supply to the plate. In my case, I'm using a PCB standoff by drilling a hole in the plate. I fasten the power supply with a screw, adjust its position, and then mark the exact spot where the hole will go. Once the hole is drilled and the standoff screw is in place, I insulated the parts of the power supply that were in contact with the metal plate, including the screw securing the standoff underneath the mounting plate. The two screws holding the power supply to the plate should be enough. Now all that's left is to connect the wires and power it up. We've now connected the AC input and the output connector to our power supply. In the corner of the video, you'll see the pinout for the motherboard connector. But before plugging the power supply into our Atari, let's make sure the output voltages are correct. First, we check the 5 volt output. Then we check the 12 volt output as well. Now we can safely connect the power supply to our Atari. You can desolder the connector from the original power supply and reuse it. In my case, I decided to use a different connector instead. Thanks so much for watching the video. I look forward to reading your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to support the channel. See you soon.